So hello and welcome. This is herotusalofrancorval.com and today I want to talk about if you should use R or Python. Now, disclaimer, I am not a data scientist. I know a little bit of R and know a little bit of Python, not much, but I can manage, you know. I can um, change some code on existing scripts and I, can, I understand some basics so I, I, I can, you know, move around basically. So this is my experience as a non-frequent user. So if you are a Python master or an R master, you might you might disagree with me, probably you will. But again, and I am looking at it from the Power BI perspective, okay? So which one is should you learn or is best or, or is easiest, if you would say like that? If we start from from this point of view, you know, R is a Microsoft product and it's beautifully integrated into Power BI. It's been there for a year or more and it works from the desktop all the way up to the cloud beautifully. So you do something and it propagates all over the Power BI ecosystem, which is good. So that is a, a big plus for R when it comes to Python. It's been developed like a month ago, so you won't find the same experience. You don't have it. Whatever you develop on Power BI Desktop, it, you cannot reuse on the cloud. So it is not supported yet. Obviously, they are going to do that. I'm guessing that their ambition is to have it fully supported as R, but as today, it is not. So it is better if you know both, use R, because then you can reuse it in the entire life cycle of the Power BI ecosystem. So this is 102 R. If we continue with the actual installation process, so what you need to do to install R or Python, I found that installing R was easier. You know, you didn't have to go and, you know, I, I spent a few hours, more than a few, just installing Python. It was, it was a painful process. And because there are so many versions of Python, you know, there are instructions that are not, you know, they don't apply anymore. With R, it was like, install this and boom, you're, you're done. <laughs> so it was so much easier to install R than install Python. And then you get, you know, with this command prompt that, okay, I used it when I was in the high school. So, hey, I... <laughs> I know my way around, but I know a lot of people do not. So it could be a bit intimidating. At least, you know, R Studio and those user interfaces are a little bit more modern. Sure, Python does have those too, but there is something else that you need to install. So for ease of installation, I think for me, R gets another point. Unfortunately, we're still zero for Python. Okay. With that said, when it comes to the language, I find that R is easier to understand than Python. And I might be surprised about that because, you know, I, I did learn some Python when I was tinkering with my Raspberry Pi. And I had some books and I did some coding and, and I thought that Python experience would be easier for me, but it wasn't. And then, of course, this is a personal thing again. So for me, I find our code cleaner and easier to understand and easier to modify than Python. Okay, maybe because I come from the business side, that, that is the reason why. So when it comes to easy or reuse of the language and understanding, I have to give our another point for me. So we're like three zero now. Hmm. So the next thing that I was really surprised, you know, every time I need to do something in R, sometimes I have to install some library, but often, more often than not, it just, you know, you have a basic set of libraries that work for everything. I don't find the same with Python. I, in my experience, every single script I tried, I have to install 20 new libraries and my computer is just bloated with stuff. I'm actually going to reset my windows just so I can clean everything up and then start all over again. I, I do it anyhow at least once a year. So, I mean, it's not just because of that, but I feel that it's been cluttered with stuff when I've been tinkering with Python code. What for R is just... 
you know, you have basic libraries. I guess there are big libraries. I don't know. That just work for most of the things I want to do in Power BI, which I think it is a big plus. So four points for our zero for Python. Ouch. What else? I, I think those are the basic things that, for me, I think that if you want to start doing things and you're not a developer, go for R. That would be my recommendation. I think it's easier, more intuitive, and cleaner than Python. And sorry for the Python fans. I don't mean to, to. I'm not saying in any way that Python is a bad language at all. It's, it's just that I think that if you don't have coding experience, R is easier for me. Give them a go so you'll see what your experience at is. So with that said, I, I just wanted to to leave it out there. In case you're wondering, okay, which one should I learn first? I, I would vote for R, you know, four against zero. But if you're a Python enthusiast, just let us know why Python is better than R or just tell me which language you prefer and why. So if people are watching this video, they have more opinion than just mine, you know, so they can actually make up their mind of where they should invest their time in learning. So that's all. I just wanted to say that I thought that because I've been testing both and I would working with both, it would be maybe interesting for others to know what the experience has been. So this is all for today. I'll see you again on the next video. So until then, take care. Bye.